Refreshing Stories. My name is Hiroshi. I saw the TV show Downtown Rocket a few years ago, and I was inspired to start a business. I could only build water bottle rockets, so I gave up on rockets and took up farming. I tried my best to grow some rice in my field, but was ultimately unsuccessful. So I gave up on rice after one year. I guess life isn't as easy as they make it out to be in TV shows. That's when I decided to try farming vegetables. But I wasn't gonna farm any ordinary vegetable. I was gonna grow pumpkins! Everyone loves pumpkins. They can be cooked in so many ways that it seemed like the perfect crop to grow. I made sure to give pumpkin farming my all. I even carried river water from the nearby mountain every day to use on my crops. And the pumpkins came out so great that everyone from around the country wanted to buy some from me. Out of all my customers though, the chain restaurant joint, actually Italian, is my biggest and best. I sell half of my stock to them every year, but their owner is a bit... difficult. Thank you so much for coming over, ma'am. I'm sure it was a long ways here. I didn't come all the way here for your stupid pumpkins. Don't be silly. What? Wait, then what brings you here? Did you come here for... me? No way, you idiot. I came here to eat all the delicious food Hokkaido has to offer. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have come to your stupid farm. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, I had so much fun going out last night. I want to go out again tonight as well, so can I head out? Yes, ma'am. I'll send you the bill for this month's purchase by next month. Oh yeah, about that. I come here every month to pick up your stupid pumpkins, right? So, can't you give me a discount? Well, I don't think that would be possible. Besides, I don't sell my pumpkins at this price to anyone besides you. But we're talking about pumpkins here! But, if I lower the price any further, I'm gonna be losing money! I don't care! You're just a stupid farmer! Don't talk back to me! Sorry. If you talk back to me again, I'm gonna make sure you regret it. I'm sorry. That owner is a hell of a character. But a lot of producers aren't very fond of her, since she demands that we lower prices every time she sees us. If they weren't my biggest customer, I would probably have cut ties with them already. But one day, she came complaining to me again. Hey, Mr. Udaria, I have something to ask you. What is it? You have to understand, I really can't lower my prices any further. Oh, come on, I'm not the devil. I didn't come here to ask about that. I want to buy more of your pumpkins next year because we're expanding our business. Well, you're closer to a monster than you are to a devil. You look exactly like a carved pumpkin you'd see on Halloween. What did you just say? No, it's nothing. All right, we have a deal. But the amount we're producing for the year has already been decided, and you're not our only customer, so... Then buy more land and expand your farm. We'll pay for it. Oh, well, in that case... All right, then I expect to buy twice the amount we bought last year. Got it? What? Twice the amount? Uh, are you sure? Who do you think I am? Now get back to work. Yes, ma'am. And so that day, I started cutting down trees and expanding my farm. We also needed more water to fertilize the soil, so I went up and down the mountain to get fresh river water. God, I can't wait to get paid. Wait, no, I can't wait to see the smile on everyone's faces when they eat my pumpkins. And with that in mind, I worked my ass off for six months. But when we were just a month away from harvesting, the owner visited me again. Good afternoon, ma'am. The pumpkins are coming out great. Whatever, here's your paycheck for this month. Huh? What is this? It says $10,000 here, but what's this for? It's for the pumpkins, obviously. Can't you read Japanese? But that's not even close to enough. You bought one ton of my pumpkins, remember? And this is way less than what you paid me for my pumpkins last year. Well, at the end of the day, it's just pumpkins. They shouldn't be expensive, especially when it's made by a dirty human being like you. What? Don't you know that a lot of my subscribers call me good looking? Whatever helps you sleep at night, but this is all we're paying. But we're seriously gonna lose money if you don't pay us more. Please, think this through again. Oh, shut up. Good looking my ass. I'm sorry, but what are you gonna do if I don't deliver my pumpkins to you? Well, I'll just buy them from abroad. They're much cheaper than your stupid pumpkins anyway. Some of them are 10 cents a kilo. 10 cents. But wouldn't your customers notice if you changed the pumpkins out? Oh, they can't tell. After all, it's just pumpkins. 
I had the cheaper pumpkins, but they tasted the same as yours. Well, but... Oh, shut up. If you're going to keep on bugging me about this, I'm going to sue you. You're just a farmer. You can't win in court against me. No! On second thought, screw your pumpkins. Sell them to someone else. Wait! There's no way I can find people that are willing to buy this many pumpkins! Well, it's your fault for growing crappy pumpkins, then. Why don't you try growing pears next year? It's perfect for you, since you need to grow a pear yourself. <laughs> no! And just like that, we lost our biggest customer. I asked around to see if any of my other customers were willing to buy more pumpkins, but it all ended up being in vain. I even asked one of my friends that owned a restaurant, but... Huh? Even though my roasted pumpkins are killer, I can only buy a few more every month. But please, help me out! But you're talking about one ton of pumpkins! We're an average restaurant, you know! We don't need that many! How about a coarse meal consisting of just pumpkins then? Like a pie, a salad, a soup, and... No way! We're a Japanese restaurant! Again, there's no way we can buy that many pumpkins from you! No? Maybe it's your fault that all the selfish idiots of this world find their way to you! Oh, sorry! Forgot you were married to one, too! Hey, that was unwarranted! I'm not usually like this, you know? All right, calm down. I'll try to find someone good looking for you. But I'm not worried about that right now. I'm worried about my pumpkins. Excuse me, may I ask a question? Huh? What's up, ma'am? I'm sorry for interrupting, but I was listening to your conversation and... I'm Hiroshi. Nice to meet you. Long story short, I'm single right now. So I take it that you want to marry me, right? No, I'm already married. I wasn't talking about that. What I wanted to talk to you about is... Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? You just proposed to her and got rejected! <laughs> you're gonna end up getting a divorce again, so just give up! Oh, stop it with the divorce jokes! You're killing me! Well, you shouldn't have proposed to her out of nowhere! Sorry about that, ma'am! So what were you about to say? No, it's alright. I heard this place had great roasted pumpkins, but they were right! It really was amazing! Thanks! I do put a lot of work into it, so the pleasure's all mine! Then you're the man who made the pumpkins, huh? Your pumpkins are amazing. These were the best pumpkins I've ever tasted. Thank you. I can see that you put a lot of effort in growing them. But I'm going to have to quit pumpkin farming after this year. Why don't you try growing pears next time? They're perfect for you since you need to grow a pear. You're saying the same thing. That stupid Italian owner told me. This is all her fault. I see. So, she cut your contract, and now you're forced to quit pumpkin farming, huh? Didn't you sign a contract with them? Well, I've been signing documents all my life. I got tired of even looking at them. What does that even mean? But you're saying there's no contract, right? Yep. Okay, I'll buy all your leftover pumpkins then. And I want the same amount next year as well. Huh? What do you mean? Are you the pumpkin monster or something? No, I'm a human being just like you. I also own a restaurant. Wait, you do? But one ton worth of pumpkins is a lot of pumpkins, you know. You really think you can use it all? Of course! I've been doing this for years. I know how much a ton is. I heard rumors of pumpkins of exceptional quality being sold in Japan. So that's why I made my way all the way here. Wait, who are you? I'm the owner of the WGT Restaurant Group. My name is Seanji. I've seen you on TV! You have over 300 restaurants worldwide, right? That's pretty impressive, especially for a young lady like you. Oh, you're making me blush. Thank you for your kind words. I get that you're this big time restaurant owner, but are you really gonna buy all of my pumpkins? And for how much? That's something you should decide. Come on, Hiroshi, collect yourself. I'm sorry. Well, I put a lot of work into my pumpkins, so how does 300 yen per kilogram sound? What are you talking about? I'm not going to offer you anything less than 600 yen per kilogram. What? Uh, I'll take it! All right, you have a deal. Thank you so much! You truly are a lifesaver! No, thank you. I'm so glad we can use your delicious pumpkins at our restaurants. As an owner, there's nothing that makes me more happy than this. Good job, Hiroshi! You got this deal thanks to me! So why don't you lower your prices for us a bit, huh? But you haven't done anything. All you did was diss me every once in a while. Aw, oh, don't be so petty. Everything went well, didn't it? And so, that's how I ended up selling all of my pumpkins to Miss Seyonji. I made sure to sign a contract this time around, and she promised to buy more pumpkins from me next year. Besides, I'm making more money now than I used to, so business is booming. 
I'll be able to keep on farming pumpkins in the future. Oh yeah, by the way, a certain troublemaker came to visit me the other day. Hey, Mr. Udaria, can I talk to you for a second? Oh hey, miss. Long time no see. Are you out of the woods already? Wait, how do you know about that? Well, I have a TV at home, so I saw your apology video. Apparently, all your vegetables had insects in them, right? That truly sounds terrible. Alright, if you know what happened, then I don't need to explain anything to you. I'll buy your pumpkins again. I'm sure you didn't have anyone else to sell them to. So you should be thankful I'm doing this for you. I have no idea what you're talking about. The pumpkins are all sold out. What? But who would buy that many pumpkins? Doesn't matter. It's none of your business. Then we'll buy some next year. Please, sell more to us. No way! I already signed a contract for next year's harvest as well, so I won't have any pumpkins to sell you. No way. So you're gonna betray me like that, huh? You asshole! But you betrayed me first! And I know about how you've been treating other farmers, too. You brought this on yourself! Wait, please! Help me! Please! There's not a single soul in this country that's willing to help you. So go fly to France or Germany or wherever. But wherever you go, you'll probably just isolate yourself again. Make sure you grow a pair. <laughs> After she betrayed me, the restaurant owner got in trouble for using poor quality products she imported from overseas. She tried to buy crops from domestic producers again, but they all refused. Not only that, none of the producers were willing to help her. And because of that, all of her restaurants are shutting down. She was so mad about what was going on, that she had a temper tantrum when she was filming her apology video. I feel like I've seen something like this happen before. I guess she was the dirty human being all along. <laughs> Oop, I guess that's it for this video. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. And if you have time, please check out our other videos as well. Alright then, see you next time. Bye.